Hey sports fans, what's good? Uh, Jack here with another video. Uh, gonna narrate a airstrike mission that turns into a pretty wild dogfight. The airstrike doesn't go super well, but uh, I'll show it to you anyway. Uh, because it does lead to a pretty decent dogfight. So, uh, without any further ado, let's get to it. I'm already hooked up to the catapult and getting ready to... Uh, take a cat shot. Go full power here. Flaps up, gear up. And we've got a couple of bandits out there, but I'm not super worried about them right now. Our target airfield is at our 11 o'clock, as you can see on the SA page there, the uh, center screen, uh, MDI, I believe is what that's called. Uh, I believe the aircraft is armed with four Mavericks, two AMRAMs, and two Fox 2s, and of course, uh, some gun ammunition. So, the... Mavericks take a little bit of time to heat up, uh, which I found out recently. Uh, so, when you select them, you get a countdown indicator on the left screen as to when the camera on the Maverick is hot and can be used. So, I'm going to find that out here in a second that I'm not ready for my run. Uh, I also have to do this periodically because my headset color gets messed up. That seems to correct it. Uh, I am playing on a Quest 2 in VR. Uh, I've got a uh, PC with an Intel uh, and a uh, NVIDIA 3080 Ti. So here's me lining up towards the airfield that I'm trying to attack. Capture. Uh, and there's me finding out that the Mavericks aren't heated up yet. And I'm going to take a minute or two. And then there's me getting locked up and looking at my indicators and not getting any kind of feedback. So I'm getting some type of uh, energy discharge, but my plane doesn't seem to classify it. Doesn't look like a SAM site because I'm not over any. So we just ignore it. Sometimes that happens. And we are going to go after the bad guy. Give our Mavericks some time to do And there it goes again. Uh, we block a bandit up here. the edge of an SA-11 SAM site there, but I don't know it yet because I'm kind of fixated on what's going on in the top right screen there. Uh, we've got a bandit locked at 20 miles. I'm at 10,000 feet, so not a good shooting solution yet. I'm going to get closer to about 10 miles. I'm also gaining some altitude here. I've got the throttle firewall. Fire. And also, this will help a little bit. I'm jettisoning my fuel tanks now that they're empty. Alright, so we're coming up on 10 miles. Fox 3. You can see on the screen on the right there that arrow traveling towards that red marker is the missile in flight. So it's 7 miles, so I'm going to switch to Fox 2s here momentarily. shot, one kill. Scratch one Chinese flanker. And as you can hear, that uh, radar one went off as soon as I hit him, so he was locking me up with some type of radar one that my plane didn't recognize. So, that'll happen. 
Now I'm being locked up by the SAM site directly underneath me. Fortunately, he's not directly underneath me. I just barely flew under the edge of his coverage, so... As long as I stay just on the outside edge of it, he won't fire at me. Myself, recognize where I am. Uh, my map on the top right there has picked up the aircraft carriers on the top right, and I know that my targets are just off and to the left of where I take off at. Uh, so, do a little bit of math in your head, and I know that I can just follow the rings of the SAM side around, and in just a minute, a few seconds actually. It's going to deposit me directly on the course for this airfield. And I'll be able to launch my Mavericks at it. My target is now at my 12 o'clock there. You can see on the SA page I'm punching in the range a little bit. So I can uh, try to get as close to the radar coverage cone as I can get before I fire my missiles. Hopefully, give him a little bit better chance of uh, impact. Okay, so on the left screen there, I am using one of my joysticks to manipulate the seeker head on the Maverick. It's basically just an IR seeker, so it locks on to uh, sources of heat. So I've, that is the airfield right there, and that triangle moving around the screen is where that seeker head is pointing. So I'm trying to lock on to some of the anti-aircraft artillery and uh, AAA and some of the other stuff. So I've locked on to something, so I fired here. So I'm just locking on to the hottest thing and firing. I have already been locked up by a SAM. And that's my fourth Maverick, so I'm going defensive here. And you can see those explosions. My Mavericks have been intercepted by the SAM site. Looks like at least two of them. And I give it time, but no pop-ups on hits. So it looks like unsuccessful strike. But, it worked out a nice angle. Uh, the carriers are almost perfectly 12 o'clock in front of me. Uh, the uh, USS Stennis and the USS Tarawa parked perfectly for these type of missions, so you can uh, go, get your ordnance and your fuel, drop it, take off, land, rinse, repeat. Uh, so I'm going to slow down here, and my altitude is pretty good, so I'm just going to leave that where it's at, and get ready to land, rearm, and try again. Or at least I think. And as I zoom in, you can see the ships there. Reset my headset again. Just a moment. About 300 knots is where I'll drop my landing gear and my flaps usually. So I've got my finger on the button to do it, and then I see on the SA page a bandit, and he's close. 17 miles, and he's hot on. 
So I go full power and go hot on him. And I believe I did put my landing gear down for a second, so I put him, put him right back up. And once again, I seem to have dropped lock, which is weird. AWAC shouldn't do that, but uh, my plane seems to have found a lock, and I'm waiting for it to resolve. Doesn't seem to want to. Try again. Here we go. Okay, we've got a lock in RTS mode. I got the shoot indicator, so I just fire. Fox 3. So we're going to go not defensive here. I want to give this missile as much guidance as I can. go low here so that I can see if he fires something heat seeking at me I can go defensive and flare but I've lost lock and I'm in blue sight mode here which is weird that I can pick up a lock but it seems that my first missile did the job anyway so it doesn't matter so that guy was definitely a threat to me threat to the carrier Happy to have him now. Now this guy, he's kind of minding his own business over his own SAM site. He's not really a threat to anybody. But I've already had to abort my landing. And I've got two uh, sidewinders left. Short range heat seekers. So let's go use them. So we've got a lock on him. Definitely a bandit. Miles, about 300 knots closure, 400 knots closure. Uh, so he is sitting over a SAM site, so we, that does give him some cover. So we don't want to fly directly over that, so I'm going to start veering to the right. And I'm going to keep him off to my left, locked up, and use my HMB to kind of keep him out.
He's locking us up. Box two. Switch to guns as a backup. And we'll fire off the victory burst. It's a Su-33 down. Big hit to Mother Russia. And I have 500 pounds of fuel left, so I pull her back to idle. Hit the F-10 map, uh, as you can see the beautiful Caucasus region. And uh, that F in the middle of the map there is me. And I am looking around for an airfield to land at. And I quickly realize that there is no airfield within range of 500 pounds of fuel. So, do a quick circle. See that the picture is clean from the AWACS, my radar is clean. Fight. We'll see you in the next one.